Herzog Lane, um, and basically um, the, whether the street's going to be accepted is before the Board of Selectmen will ultimately be decided by town meeting, but um, one requirement of the law is that the planning board make a recommendation as to whether to go forward, and that's why the selectmen have asked for our, our recommendation. Yeah, recommendation. Um, uh, well, first, uh, to sign the sign the as bill, and then a recommendation to the town. Is Larry going to be here tonight? No. No. Okay. Um, but, yeah, he does. He has. He did submit this. It is. He did see it. But the as bill was done by. Yeah. Hi, Larry. Right, right. right. Evening. How does everybody know? Oh, how do you know? How do we end up here? This room. So, yeah. Somebody else yeah, room. Yeah, so there's supposed to be another oh. meeting, so I, I think what actually Where, uh, was Do you want to sit over there so oh, no. I, they don't get a far away? Yeah, back of my head. Did you have a much better you know, back of your head? I'm giving them a profile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can encourage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Chris, I was just saying that the first item I. And our agenda is the uh, street acceptance for Gerzak Lane, and the basically want us to uh, sign off on the as bill plan and okay. make a recommendation as to whether the road can be accepted. So, I'm sorry, I think you were in the middle of talking. No, all I was saying was that uh, two things, the as bill, sign the as bill, and then um, to actually make a recommendation to the town meeting. Right. I mean, is there any reason why the town shouldn't rec uh, accept the street? I don't see any. I mean, uh, <coughs> It's a good thing for the people to live on that street, first of well, all. They've had um, problems with lighting, lighting and all kinds of things. And while the what the project was not completed to a hundred percent completion, we have money set aside to take care of the remaining items. Sure. Uh, and that's, that's and, and Larry's done the evaluation to determine what that would cost. Right. And, and that, that's we've been dealing with that all for the last year I'm right. about how we spend that money. And uh, it's Nothing's changed with that. We're still like he knows what the scope of that work is, and uh, uh, I can't imagine. Anything. I think everybody got the punch list that he had drawn up. Right. That yeah. in the estimate. Right. Right. So, um, so I don't see any re reason not to go ahead with the, with the street exception. Mm -hmm. Right. Does anyone see a reason? No. Any further discussion is needed? It seems to me. Can I just take one sure. bit here, Mr. Savory? I was told that you had come in today. Um, the the meeting that you're going to be on is actually next uh, next Wednesday. Okay. This is an emergency special session. Oh, okay. Having to do with street acceptance. Well, I just thought we were talking to Frank this morning. Yeah, the the yeah. agendas will be if you go on the if you go on the website. Yeah. Um, I I put up there what the upcoming meetings are and. At the end of this week, it will be posted. The agenda will be posted. You can download that. Okay. So just watch. Is this an open meeting or a private one? This is open. Yes. Yeah, it's open, but you're not on our agenda. So no, I know. Well, I, just, well, I haven't really been to one in a while. I think that absorbs some sure. information. Sure. It's a lousy TV night, so yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> My brain is so fried from working today. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's out there tonight. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wish to be luck before you took the ice. Can I, make, can I make a recommendation that we uh, go ahead and uh, recommend that it's, it should be accepted and set forward? Is that a motion? That's a motion. Yeah. Any seconds? I'll, I'll second that. All in favor? All right. All in favor? Let's have it. Um, do you, does someone make a motion to? Uh, I make a motion that we sign the okay. as built with recommendations from our grand right. consultant. Second. Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, the ayes have it. Aye. Do you, do you lie aye. on the first Jim, one? Did you second? Is that? Did you, did you vote yes on the first one? I oppose both. Oh, okay. You oppose you both? Vote, vote both both okay. goes, right? Right. right. Okay. Did you get that? Yes. One, 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 is, what, what was the second one? First one was it's same. really it's really the same thing. Oh right? yeah, well, nice to sign the plans for the yeah. first okay. one. Did the selectman want something in writing from us? I'll, I'll I can send them.
Okay, next item on our agenda is, uh, again, the Board of Selectmen has asked us to uh, review and provide comments on the Rowley Country Club liquor license transfer application. Um, Kirk, do you want to give some background information on that? Uh, yeah. The, um, what I had was, uh, in the research, the planning board had approved the uh, special permit for the Rowley Country Club. Um, which was an open space residential development in December of 2012. And the existing golf course was included as part of the required open space for that. Um, I guess that was done in the wake of a, um, a 2006 amendment to the, um, to the uh, bylaw, which allowed the use to, to consider the golf course, the golf course as being um, open space. Um, the March in March 2013, the liquor license. March 2013, the liquor license, the original liquor license, was issued for the Country Clubhouse, uh, the former pro shop building by the Board of Selectmen. Um, and then, um, well, they had a license, liquor license before that. So. With the, at the pro shop. Oh, for yeah. It, it, uh, initially, the, the back nine had a liquor license, right. which was a separate corporate oh, okay. entity from, from the golf course. Right. And then uh, when they when the country club took over, the pro shop had to get its own. It, it wasn't a transfer of a license; it was a new license being issued. But okay. they did for beer and wine. Yeah, you know, uh, for beer and wine. And uh, at, at the time, though, uh, while the argument was that it was a transfer. Uh, they decided that even though it wasn't the same entity or, or successor entity that was taken over, nonetheless, they were considering it a continued use because there had always been a liquor license at that location, mm -hmm. even though it wasn't the same location. Right. Uh, so that's where, that at least answers that question. Yeah. Um, there was a memo from um, that Katrina had sent. So I'm, I'm just a little confused. So why are we looking at this now? If they've because of the transfer the of the license from Burden Page to uh, Rally Country Club. But they're adding to it also. They want liquor also, right? No, no. Just no, barely. Well, Burton Page was a, uh, right. he was a, he ran the company that, le that uh, leased the course. Leased the course, right. So that was the management company that, okay. that, that so ran Is he out of the picture now? It sounds like it. You know, all this is coming yeah. to, on, on Friday, uh, Kirk and I had a conversation about it, but that's the first time we've been aware of it. Yeah. That, uh, so Burton Page and his management company are out, and now the Country Club's going to take over. Yeah, they, he's no longer going to be the transferee is the Raleigh Country Club LLC. Okay. I guess okay. right now, because uh, I know that you should, uh, do I need to, I mean, are you going to recuse yourself? Well, I, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I, I, yeah, I mean, at some point. Uh, I didn't know. We, yeah. I, I didn't know. I mean, I, I'm a, a, a butter, a direct right. butter to the uh, club and, in fact, the, the pro shop. So I guess uh, for that Which reason. Which in turn is uh, where the beer and wine gets served. Right, right. So from that perspective, uh, I, I'm not a voting member. Uh, I'm gonna have to recuse myself, but I, but I also want to, nonetheless, I'd like to comment on it, given that I'm an interested party as a butter. Well, let, let me ask you this. What? I looked I looked at, at this, like, at the State Ethics Commission, uh -huh. actually, for an example that they gave of a participate or if they, uh, a board member who isn't a butter mm -hmm. in a situation, you, you would, it would be, you would just not be able to participate. It actually forbids, pro, prohibits pro, participation. Okay. Um, so okay, but I, I, I would they, just point that out. Like, so, okay, so I'm like, prohibited from participating in, in the discussion? As a party. Uh, as a, uh, uh, on the board or as a member of the public? Uh, both. Uh, because... But it's, 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 it's the members of the public that whose comment we most seek when we make a decision. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that, Kirk, but I mean, I'm sure it says that, but uh, I, I didn't think that... But it's, I mean, I guess residents it's, lose their rights entirely, but you can't you can't do it as a board member. That's well, there are probably two sections, like with the state ethics commission, that actually one is the any kind of like um, appearance of impropriety. So that even just being yeah. a member of the board and actually being in the audience and commenting could be construed uh, by as, as influencing. influencing. Yeah, yeah. So, and then the other is the statement about not participating. Yeah, well, so the room. Well, well, you know, I don't think you have to leave the room. That's an extreme. No, no, I, I wasn't saying that you yeah. the room, but I was just saying as public comment, party of interest. Right. Um, it would actually just be better and safer. To say nothing. 
Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, because I feel like I have something to add to this yeah, conversation. Right. Yeah. Um, you can tell me what you want to say. Yeah, let me say. work that out. Well, <laughs> well, I don't think you'd be precluded from going to the Board of Selectmen meeting and, and speaking your mind there. Because uh, we're just making a recommendation. They want to talk. <laughs> right. I mean, and, and you know, to the extent that I, I need to recuse myself, if I need to go sit in the, the gallery for this, I, I still feel like, uh, and I'm not sure whether you offer purely factual information that would just clarify something that wouldn't be necessarily inappropriate, but, you know, yeah. I think, um, uh, well, you know. Factual we, information probably would be fine. Uh, I'm just saying offering an opinion yeah, uh, that would be probably construed as, as uh, uh, influential sure. board, other board members. If it was advocacy yeah. for a position that I'm precluded from saying, so with that being said, yeah. I'll just, you know what, let me just ride this one out. I'll, I'll, I'll recuse myself and, and bite my tongue. Okay. Well, is it a, no, is it a transfer of a beer and wine or they let them look at all? I was getting ready to get, I, I was actually coming to the, uh, I was going to describe yeah, like, go just an overview because I, I wasn't sure to what extent everybody, since you, the board doesn't really review liquor license. Right. So I looked at um, uh, NGL um, chapter 138, section 12, which is the Liquor the License Authority. Each jurisdiction has a local license authority. In this case, it's in the town of Raleigh, is the board of selectmen. So they review the liquor license applications, and then they request they request uh, comments from the other boards. And specifically in this situation, because there's a special permit, they request. Yeah, I don't think they've. Uh, I can't remember another time when they requested our comments, but that's just. Yeah. So there are four types of ABC li licenses: all alcohol, wine only, malt only, wine and malt. Um, and then there are six types of pouring license, hotel, restaurant, tavern, general on premise, and war and veterans club. Uh, this license is subject to, um, they're basically proposing wine and malt, and then uh, it's a restaurant pouring license. So it's no bar then, right? Yeah, yeah, it's um, for, as, as part of a restaurant, food and beverage, just like, this, just like it was. So it's beer and malt, not liquor. Malt. Yes, wine and malt. Malt is beer. Beer. Yeah, yeah. wine. So beer. Well, uh, is what I'm concerned is the, is the liquor. You know. Well, it's I'm wine. I'm concerned wine. with all of it. Yeah. I'd be more concerned with liquor, but still. This is not all alcohol. Well, well, there is well, a category of all alcohol. This is wine and malt only. Right. Well, I'm under the assumption that I remember when he was before us. This guy, this guy Page, and uh, this board gave him the green light to go ahead with that. We we discussed oh, yeah. it. Not, not for a liquor license. Yeah, no, not for a liquor, but for the beer and wine. For the beer and wine. No, because we don't want to do that. Well, why was he before us? Then? I, don't, I don't remember the, the night you're talking about, but we, we would we don't approve okay. issue I, 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 any I, kind I, of I, alcohol. I, I, I can show you. Here's actually. Why was he before us? It, it was the same yeah, as this. He was talking tonight. about the clubhouse serving yeah. sandwiches. Right. They never said anything about. As far as I can remember, it had nothing to do with the license. It had to do with what. No, oh, beer and wine was mentioned. It was. It was. Yeah, yeah it was. but it was in conjunction with how we wanted to run the club, which was not a licensing yet. We we were talking about. The well, the other thing. Okay. Uh, well, the other thing that concerns me is there's, why was he in the picture for six months and now he's gone? Who? Who? Page. No. Page was not here. I don't remember anybody. Here. I think the the club owners hired a management company because they were busy developing. So they hired oh, okay. him for a year, and now okay. that they're done with their development, oh, right. they're going to run the golf course. I see, okay. okay. Well, they closed the restaurant yeah. down, too. Um, but, but, you know, that's the other thing where I was concerned with. The neighbors are very, very close to where they're serving the mobile. Yeah, I noticed that. I went over there tonight just to take another look at it. Um, do, do you want to I didn't realize that you presented continue this summarizing the application? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my opinion. The occupancy yeah. that they're proposing, this is all the actual license itself. 30, uh, there are 30, um, 30 people for. 30 people inside, 50 outside debt. Uh, the on-site manager will spend 20 hours on the premises. Um, I don't know what that means. It yeah, sounds like they have like a 20 hour. 20 hours of service? Is there anything about uh, closing time? Uh, it doesn't say anything about the closing time. So it could be, often, could be until midnight or one. Yeah, one until one who knows how we are. These will be issues that the board is selecting. Right. Up, but we just have to like look at it. What I'm wondering is they're, they're talking about um, a restaurant for 80 people, 80 seats. Could they possibly fit that within the existing structure? I mean, I don't see how it's possible. No, uh, we'd have to get a using, using 30, 30, 30 on. 
30 inside and 50 yeah, on the deck. That deck is small. Well, 50, 50 is even a lot of that deck. Yeah. Um, yeah. And while we authorize a 75% expansion of the building, they haven't done that yet, right? I mean, they haven't. They haven't been over there. They have That's expanded the building. I don't know to, to the extent to what extent. I know they added to it. They did, and they expanded the the, the deck area. I know that um, th this is probably all factual, but I just wanted like, is there any way of of um, I mean, I, I'm afraid you're you're going to be too involved. Well, they allow seventy five percent. Yeah, no, I appreciate your concern for my. Uh, yeah, they you know, I don't want to. I want to feel concerned for. Yeah. Like, uh, I think the neighbors should. Well, the yeah. neighbors should have a say. You read that letter two, two, years, two years ago, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 So what? What is all that? I think they should. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that really summarizes. All of a sudden, you see a second floor going on. So that's on the red. And it's a function that should be over to select. Sure. No. As far as to answer your question, I think I can answer the question about the number of seats they have there. He did present a floor plan that showed the, the seating that he intended. And, you know, if you counted the tables he has and the seats around it, he, he had those numbers. Really? For yeah. the existing structure? For the existing yeah. structure, yeah. That's smaller than the Why would you want to be you if there's 50 guys out there? Well, we, we never said anything about outdoor seating. I don't believe. Do you, do you recall? Yeah. Is there anything in the minutes about that? About the outdoor seating? Yeah. Um, and while we ex we authorize them to expand the, the structure by the, the footprint of the structure by 75%, we never said anything about outdoor seating. Um, and I'm concerned that 50 residents sitting outdoors and drinking so close to butters. And I just don't mean people that have lived there before. I mean, the people in the units are actually much closer. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're very close, and I, I know if I was living there, I wouldn't want to have um, people carrying on, drinking, yeah, and partying after a well, long after a long day of golfing in the sun. Um, what, what are the hours? We don't know what the hours are. So, I mean, if they play golf till, till sunset, I mean that's eight thirty in the summertime. Now they have a couple days. Sure. We're at ten o'clock at night now. Right. I think if you look at uh, Katrina's letter there before that, the way, the way it happened was that when the special permit was issued that the consideration of it being, of there being a tavern or a bar, um, or a restaurant or a bar, wasn't really considered at the time. And um, that the liquor license came out of that. But, the, but she states in that letter that the planning board did, was aware that that was the intention of the, um, of the uh, applicant, so. Well, that's not the impression I got from her intention. I, 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 did, I, mean, I got the impression that it was the clubhouse, they were going to have some sandwiches there, oh. they might serve beer and wine with the sandwiches, but right. it yeah. wasn't going to be a nighttime after golfing all day, Sounded people like was... going there to eat. Yeah, they very, they were very low key about yeah. what they were planning on doing. Yeah. Very low key. It was hard to get anything to send anybody. Okay. Um, and, and I don't think the subject of an outdoor dining area ever came up, and that's something I, I guess something I think should be shown should be shown on a site should be shown shown on a site site plan for our restaurants. Here's the you know, the, here's the, here's the defined right. And while they may say that we have, we approved it by saying um, a lot by allowing them to expand the perimeter by seventy five percent, I don't know if that that does it for them. Um, I mean, they may argue that, but in my opinion, we did not approve that. It's not, it's not an approved um, part of the development. May this approval have to go on this? It has to go to selectmen? Well, the, the selectmen issue the, the liquor goes. license. We just make a recommendation. It's not but, but we, No, but we approve the site plan. So what I'm saying, uh, there's no approval, there's no indication on that site plan that they're going to have an outdoor seating area. Uh, therefore, we didn't approve one. Right. It's not shown on the site. They need to come back to us before we can I, do much of anything. I think so. I mean, I, and I think this is something neighbors should, butters should be able to comment on yeah. in public hearing. We'll right. Mm -hmm. but they, you know, again, they may give us a fight on that, but you know, that's I think that's a reasonable interpretation. On that I think it's interesting to point out that uh, when this went before the 
town council last year for the application by the uh, the leasing company, there was no other abutters. Yeah. And, and now we have uh, right. 20 new homeowners that are directly affected. Right. That, that's a good point. That, that is, I think that's factual and safe. Well, well, here's my other concern, too. It's a very narrow street. We were very concerned about building the houses there because of the traffic flow onto that street and in that neighborhood where there are children. And now they want to have a liquor license and sit 80 people? Uh, not really good. I mean, it's a safety issue. Uh, I'll point out that the, and I gave everybody a copy of the special permit. Oh, you, didn't, you got the packet though, right? or you yeah. got the license. The packet? It's the very end. It's the very end of the license, and so uh, one of the um, stipulations was condition number twenty-nine uh, that substantial changes or revisions to the site layout or the special permit conditions affecting the approved site plan drawings may be called for modification or additional site plan review to be determined by the planning board. Um, so you guys can look at that. Um, Motion 29 if you want and see you take this as a major change. Yeah, I think it is too. Yeah. After the town council issue with minor major changes previous right. to this, right. um, this affects people and it's right. I would have said this was a major change even before we got that opinion. Because because of you know it's it's very foreseeable that people would object to this. Are, are, are you proposing modification to both the site plan and special permit? Well, I'm proposing that I, I think they need to come back before us before we can recommend that the selectmen issue this. That they need to come back before us, tell us exactly what we're doing, and at that point we'll, we'll, we'll determine whether they need to go through the public hearing process. Forty-four, but more discussion. Yeah, so right, right. Public. Because you know they haven't prevented anything to us, you know. Yeah. You know, so I mean, I just I just find it hard to believe that you can fit 80 people in that little building. So I'd like to know what their plans are. You know. Would you like me to try to get them onto the agenda for the next Wednesday? No. I'd say. I'd say let the give the selectmen our recommendations and see what happens. Like it's interesting that they didn't oh, ask for a comment by this board when they allowed the license page. last March. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. That's what I asked for this time. No. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, with this point, Drew's asking us for, asking us for a comment. Uh, but they already have it on the agenda for a hearing coming up. So are they going to postpone their hearing until we can give them a more complete? I don't know. I think it's up to the select. Yeah, right. Well, I think this is what the. Select one is actually they were requesting that the board decide if, if the special permit and the or the and or the site plan needed to be that the board would consider it a modification. Right. That's is, that's why the select one sent it there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's for comment. They, uh, they uh, but that was like one of the big concerns that, that they were trying to ascertain was if uh, if it affected the special permit. If the board feels that it affects the special permit and the, and the site plan, that those are being modified to you know, substantially. I think that's the board's feeling. This is a change to the special permit for the expansion. And then the site plan. Right. Yeah. So and it's a significant practice. one because of the potential impact on the plan, as opposed to a landscaping plan, you know, behind the building. Really, you know. right. And you're right, Clifton. To defined area of where the drinking is allowed outside. This. Usually it is defined, but there's no seats inside. The, I don't think there's any seats inside to sit down and have a beer. So I think, for, for the most part, if, if you have a beer, it's going to be up. What are they, they making with food? I mean, it's, it's such a small building. It, I don't think they're making food. I think they cater because it's like you go into Cullors, they got those ready made sandwiches and everything. You know, you know, Cullors, they got it. Yeah. That's, think, that's what they're, they have more or less a cooler with some pre-made yes, sandwiches. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Like right. and, and I think the beer no is, uh, to sit down and I mean, the interesting thing about the beer, uh, it, it's mostly to take on your cart and play golf, play while you, uh, drink while you play around the golf. Yeah, that's another thing where you play golf, what are you talking about? Of course you go down. You do? I don't, I don't play a lot of golf, but when I do. <laughs> There's a caddy in my opium. <laughs> the weight of the bag was related well, to the liquor. All right, so uh, 
what I think we've all got a consensus here. Not, yes. not including you, Griff. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I mean, I think the motion should be that the recommendation to the, to the selectmen is that the liquor license not be approved at this time because we don't believe uh, a restaurant with, a, with an outdoor seating area was approved by the board and therefore uh, request the selectmen to encourage uh, the applicant to come before the planning board to discuss its proposal so that we can make a further determination on that. Second. <laughs> no, you make that motion. I Just say I'll I make that motion. motion. I make that motion. All right, second. Okay. All in favor? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. You did vote on this one. Aye. 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 I'm in favor of that motion. Abstain. I'm the first one to jump on it. Uh, I mean, that way we know. They've got to tell us what they're trying to do. Absolutely. Right, before we say something definitively. So I think you, you just. Well, because like I said, you, you know, all drinking is going to be done outside. There's the only place of seats over yeah. the deck. Yeah, they're not going to be The previous outside. building, which was over further. Oh, well, like another building? No, in its past life. Yes, yes, had yes. Liquor and you could drink. Should, should we, should we also say uh, we're also concerned about no uh, limits on the hours of operation? Well, you're not going to play golf in the dark, I wouldn't think. But you know, no, but some places you have night golf. Right. But you can sit at the bar until midnight. Well, talking that's the other score. thing. You, right. you, I think that should be stipulated. There should be some kind of conditions on yeah. Yeah. hours yeah. of operation. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure that I don't know, and you, you may know better, but you can't control hours of operation through a special permit. You have to do that through the, 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 the by, bylaws that oh, dictate uh, what hours of operation a business can maintain. I don't know, but we, I mean, we you know. probably can control it through the liquor license. Yes. I would assume. Uh, yeah, but I think the liquor license has to allow for up to the maximum allowed by the bylaws. Well, you know, so the other thing is, is well, State law or? I, I think it's appropriate to, to just raise the issue right. that we're concerned about it. You know, yeah. for, the, for the most part, it's a gentleman's game. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some people that may not be a gentleman after a few years. They might be, but I don't see that going to be a, uh, an everyday occurrence. But you know, you don't want it to become one either. No. Well, it is a residential area. Absolutely. And, there's another, uh, Absolutely. There's and I think, I mean, people I think they should have some say all the drinking advice. and leaving and yeah, driving yeah. those windy roads yeah. right. on a daily basis. So. I, I think, you know, them as servers should know enough to say, you know, if you had four or five, I think that's enough. Well, they have their best yeah. legal requirement. You know, or else you lose your license. Right, right, get sued. But um, I think what I'm most concerned with is people partying literally in, in the front yards of right. residences. You know. Doesn't seem appropriate to me, but at least there should be limits. Well, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't know. Maybe the people that moved in, you know, this is fine. Yeah, maybe they don't care. I don't know. But the, the, pub, the public hearing, they'd be able to. to this may be there. Well, I'm sure if it, became, if, it, if it became a nuisance, they'd all be down yeah. knocking on somebody's door. So like, yeah, right. right. So, really, in the past, some of the butters have written lengthy letters to the Board of Selectmen. I see the thing. <laughs> so there are like uh, are you three, yeah. three, I guess, points uh, to make in the memo uh, would be that what is the concern that the out, that it wasn't originally approved for outdoor seating, and then uh, second, it uh, wasn't approved. Was not approved right. uh, for outdoor seating, and then second uh, that. Um, concerned about the hours of operation. Yeah, I think you can add that at the end. Okay. okay. We're also concerned about the. Okay. Kind of well, concerns. to come back before or come before well, and kind of explain. There, there, we, yeah, we'd, we'd like to hear about the proposal for the restaurant. Yeah. And the, yeah, And why it's not, why it isn't, a, in their opinion, is an approved use. You know, I mean, I think we need to talk with them about that rather than. Uh, you know, saying definitively, no, this is illegal. I think we just raise those issues with the selectmen yeah. and, and ask them to deny the application at this time. Yeah. Or, or postpone, or postpone or continue, the ruling. Continue it until yeah. after the right. planning board has reviewed it. Right. Okay. Next. So, all right. Next. Uh, so, uh, just go Okay, um, third, uh, notice and discussion related to a preparatory informational session being held by the Board of Selectmen 
uh, at its Monday, April 28th meeting pertaining to warrant articles to be considered at the upcoming May 5th town meeting. Um, what are, what are we're looking for the uh, planning board representative. I'll be there, but right. I want somebody from the planning board to, to be present. And so Who does? Uh, board board to talk about our two zoning articles. Yeah, right? Well, I think the average choice would be myself for that. And, and I attended the last year's one. So, okay. so that's that's this month, do you have a time? Uh, it's 7.15 oh, is the time. That when? 7.15 is the time that's been scheduled. Okay. From around them. Huh? From around them. Okay. Let's see everybody show up. Yeah. So, so any other business? Can I use that kind of business? Certainly. Could be a record. Yeah. We could finish in 35 oh, minutes. Yeah. Actually, about 32 minutes. Good job. Make a, recommend, uh, a recommendation. Second that. Motion okay. day or aye? I'll suppose the aye. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What's the date, Monday? Are we uh, done? A little, a little less. A little shove and fall. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, well. Hey, Chris, I got a little question. We just have nothing to do with really any of this church. Can they do some of the selection things? It's usually, yeah. They, they cleared a bunch of land right down next to me. I'm just wondering, are they going to build a building? What are they going to do there? On the other side of the street? On Route 1, yeah. Yeah, that's landscape. Uh, Thank you. Landscape guy's going in there. Oh, is he? It's been yeah. before us for the past two months. Right. And, uh, it's a nice lot down there, isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's weird though. It's all the. I don't know, right? So I used to walk down to my house on the liquor store. It used to be a liquor store with that little, the lady sells silver and stuff like that. The skateboards. Yeah. Oh, I used to go down there. I used to bury change behind it when I was a little kid for money for soda. Or, and then I go and I dig it up. I go in there and get a couple of sodas and those swirly bottles. I remember the old guy, Mr. Cook, used to him and his wife used to live in that little house. Oh, exactly. that was like. I'm old, huh? Unfortunately, it makes the next lot <coughs> more noticeable, it seems to me. That, that's a lot of big piles of dirt for yeah. the right, developer just, you know, yeah, well, yeah, well, that, left He just stopped. He just, huh? what, that guy just lose interest? Who's that, the guy with the bar, uh, the, granite the granite guy? The granite, granite guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The North, North, Shore, the North, North Shore Design North Center. Center. Yeah. Yeah. Coming yeah. soon. Coming soon, yeah. Ten years now, at least. So he had permission enough to do that? He was approved. He was approved. He has a special permit. Uh, but he just, he right. just uh, yeah. did the prep work and then just stopped. He did a lot of filling there. Yeah. Man, the trucks are going there. Yeah. He's, he's taking down that hill, but there's a lot of stumps that he's got to take out. It's unfortunate, but you didn't, there's nothing you could do in that situation. I mean, you know, just, what are you going to do when they just stop working? Right. It's not over. I mean, uh, his permit's expired at this point. Right? Yeah, so yeah. yeah. It is? Yeah. 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 No, not you're talking That's about the two years old landscape term. people? Yeah. Start with so about about the next lot down the street. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's been uh, sitting there with a trailer on that property for a long time. Yeah. Well, I think what happened to him was the economy. You know what I mean? That people just stopped buying houses and putting granite. Well, he was going to put a building to sell his product there, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, because he did marble and um, granite countertops. And, and he still stores a lot of them, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think the economy just... There's another yeah, street from yeah. it, too. It's, it's just sitting there, yeah, I hope. Same All right. street. Just mm -hmm. Well, well what what's with all the smiles? What's up? He just, just sort of trying to you guys have fun here. I, was, <laughs> I, I went to run the plan for it this year, and I missed it by three days. I went to sign in, and... She said that was last Tuesday, and now it's be too late. Yep. <coughs> well, no such thing as close enough. Up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could you um, email this to me yeah. tomorrow? Yeah, go to okay. okay. All right, we're done. Very good. Is that we off on the camera too?